Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today we have some news uh, directly from Bandai themselves, courtesy of the official global Twitter page. And it's basically a message from the uh, global operation team. And it's something they've been doing more recently, these like monthly uh, updates slash letters that I think it's really, really cool. So hopefully they continue doing it in the future. So it says... Hello all, this is the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle International version operation team. Uh, thank you very much for watching Dokkan Now special and for the many comments. Are you enjoying the 350 million global downloads reach campaign? Without further ado, here is this month's letter from the producer, full of juicy details about the latest content. Okay, so a few things were revealed here. Uh, available first in the international version, Extreme Z Battle. Giant Ape Edition coming soon for October. We have prepared some events that will be available first in the international version. Now there's no space between in and the, but that's okay. And uh, yeah, we are getting a new Extreme Z battle with three Extreme Z Awakenings for the, um, let's see, the Fizz Kid Goku, the AGL Vegeta, as well as the STR Raditz now. Specifically, if it's too small for you guys to see, it's uh, these guys right here. So this Goku, this Raditz, and this Vegeta. Now, all three of them are really, really bad. Specifically, this Vegeta. I mean, look at this guy's passive, man. Attack and defense plus 70% when HP is 80% or less. So, <laughs> basically above 80% HP, like when you start the event, uh, this guy has no passive. Right? He has no passive. Yeah, 80% or less. That's terrible. He's really, 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 really bad, and uh, he badly needs an Extreme Z Awakening, so I'm glad that Global's getting it first, and it's happening soon. And uh, of course, you know, like I said, these guys are bad too, but not as bad as Vegeta, but definitely could benefit from the Extreme Z Awakening. And uh, it says it's starting from October 7th, which is Thursday, at 6 uh, EST. Hold on. Is it 6 p.m. PST or just or 6 a.m.? I'm not really sure, actually. Uh, I'm assuming it's 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, but who knows? Uh, you'll be able to Extreme Z Awaken, Goku, Vegeta, and Raditz that belong to the Giant Ape Power category. Plus, we'll hold a Defeat the Giant Ape social media campaign where Dragonstones and items for raising characters will be distributed according to the total number of times the... Uh, Above Extreme Z Battle is cleared by international version players. Join the fight and get awesome rewards. So there you go, three global first Great Ape or Giant Ape Extreme Z Awakenings coming very soon in about a week from now. And then we also have a special sticker exclusive to Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, or Super Saiyan Blue Goku will be distributed and it's going to be a login reward. And the reason they're doing this is because uh, apparently they have a Dragon Ball booth at the uh, NYCC, so I think New York Comic Con, and uh, they're releasing a brand new uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku figure. So I think to commemorate the release of this figure, they're going to be you know, giving us this sticker for a Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And uh, what else is here? I mean, first of all, the figure looks great. It's very small, very, very small, but looks pretty cool. And there will also be missions, login bonuses, a Dokkan Festival, Dokkan Festival, um, another social media campaign, too many things to introduce them all here, but we're bringing you tons of content this October, so we hope you will continue to enjoy playing Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting is that with the release of these three global first Extreme Z Awakenings, does that mean we're also going to be getting a global first Dokkan Festival unit, a Dokkan Fest unit? Um, it's possible. It's possible. Nobody knows for sure, right? Because I think the assumption was that after the uh, worldwide celebration or download celebration, we would be getting the AGL Kid Gohan Dokkan Fest, right? But uh, now that we're getting this, now that they've been talking about Global First stuff in general, I feel like a Global First Dokkan Fest uh, might be on the way, man. I mean, this Dokkan Festival they're talking about, it might be a brand new unit. Maybe it's a 
giant ape unit, right? Because we are getting the giant ape Extreme Z Awakenings. Or maybe it's a new Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Um, I think giant ape is probably more likely, but you, you never know. We just have no information right now, and uh, I would be totally down for that, as you guys know, man. I'm a huge, huge fan of Global First. It just makes things more interesting for global players like me, so um, hopefully that's the case. But before we have any more information or any more leaks, you know, or any leaks in general from I seriously or whatever, I don't want to get people too excited. So maybe a Global First, maybe not, I will tell. Uh, but if it is a global first, let me know in the comments what you guys think it's gonna be, like the Dokkan Fest. Do you think it's gonna be a Great Ape Goku, or Vegeta, or some other giant ape? Um, or is it gonna be a Super Saiyan Blue Kakun Goku, or something else? Something that I haven't talked about yet. Uh, maybe a surprise, a curveball. Who knows, right? So, um... Yeah, I guess that's all there is to talk about, man. Just to refresh your memory in case you forgot in the last two minutes. We're getting these three Extreme Z Awakenings for Viz, Giant Ape Kid Goku, the uh, STR Giant Ape Raditz, and also the AGL Vegeta. We're getting a special sticker. We're getting social media campaigns for um, the number of clears for this event on Global. And, uh, you know, log the voters' submissions, all your standard stuff. New Super Saiyan Blue Kakun Goku figure, which looks awesome. Uh, I'm not gonna be at New York Comic Con, but if somebody wants to pick up that figure for me and send it over, I will be very thankful. I'll do a video for, you know, that person. So, you know, if anybody's feeling generous, you know, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing. I don't expect anybody to do that. To do that. Okay, that's a lot, but um, I also wouldn't be opposed to it. Okay, so <laughs> that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. Uh, yo. Bandai Operations team, Bandai Spies out there, if you're watching, keep doing this stuff, man. We love it. I love the Dokkan now, and I love this, like, monthly update thing they're doing. You know, it's, uh, definitely makes my job a lot easier just to have this, like, right here. So, yeah, keep doing it. Uh, shout out to everybody on the Operations team. Uh, shout out to, uh, oh, man, people are gonna be so mad at me for this. Is... Is the name of the new, like, rep for Global, is her name Shoto? Is it Shoto? Or am I thinking of just, like, the My Hero character? It's Shoto, right? No, it's... I don't know, man. I forgot. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, if I'm wrong, please correct me, but shout out to her. She's awesome. Um, doing a great job. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be the end of the video. Don't be too mad, guys. I know people love her. She's great. She's awesome. I just can't specifically remember her name, but I'm sure it's going to come to me once I end the video. Anyways, that's going to be the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.